Yeah, no, you ain't no psycho You're not like the others, no No changing behaviors Not sure how to act around you So colorful and bright <laughs> Guys, do you know something? I'm already laughing You know, I've not started my video But already, I am already laughing <laughs> You know, I will always come back <laughs> Lambruski, Lambruska Fire burn them every time and every day. It's me, daughter of the soil and the CEO of the lazy gang. It's like you are new to this YouTube street. <laughs> Guys, who made it to the carbon? Our main, main people made it to this carbon. But before I go into my main, the main reaction, I need to address this video of this girl, this liar that came back from Germany. She came back with another. You know me, I will come back to address it. I will not just leave it to die like that. Because you know why I always come back to address things? Because I hate liars. <laughs> I hate liars. You are crying. See, don't bring emotions. We have already worked on our own. Social media is not that you think that everybody will accept what you say. No. On this social media <laughs> is to agree to disagree. <laughs> They say a thousand people will like what you say. Maybe a thousand will not like. Don't expect everybody to say, I accept your lies, your foolishness. Anything you are talking, not everybody will. Even me that I'm talking now. <laughs> it's not everybody that is going to understand or accept my video. So it is what it is. We move ahead, ahead. Reaction was continued. You came lie. This girl came. She was lying to lean. Lynn was listening to her. Now, I made a reaction video saying that this girl is lying. She came back to say, we are heartless. Oh, we don't know what we are doing. She wasn't lying. How do you come online? Just because you open your leg, Yakata, for a Nigerian man, I still say it. The first video I did, I was pitying this girl with her child. I was even saying, oh, how did Germany have to... Like, deport this small child like this. She didn't see that other video. She just saw the last one I did to say, no, my dear, I did not. In fact, I don't agree with what you said. How, guys, everybody that is watching me that is wise, how do you say that somebody adopts you? They adopt you in Germany and they still deport you back to, to Kenya. Is that one not a lie? Who hears something like that? There was nothing like adoption, girl. That is why I told you you were lying. How do you come to say, in fact, because you open leg for Nigerian man, you want to classify the whole Nigerians as fraud stars, or how do you call it? You want to say the whole Nigeria, you came like this on a big platform to open your mouth wide to say, oh, they don't allow Nigerians to open bank account in Germany. Guys, who can hear this thing and say that this girl is not, a, in fact, let me not ask just James and ask Marwa. Don't start what you cannot finish. I am less, less, less of your problem. Uh, after all, it's not me that deport you back to Kenya. I'm sorry to talk this way, guys, but it is what it is. That is the reality. She lied. And she, she still have the audacity. Still come to make video for her to cover the lies. I will explain your video. I feel for you. If it's not paining you that you go back to Kenya, why are you crying? Relax and enjoy your Africa. Nobody cares. You know, you are, oh, because we cannot go to Africa, we cannot go back, we cannot imagine ourselves in our country. See, <laughs> as you say, you are a, a, a mama, you know what Nigerian people call, a baby that they gave birth today, we have suffered and we have keep things that even if we go back to Africa today, for me, I wouldn't lose. In fact, it will be the best thing for me to even if I want to go back to Africa. Because I can equally still come back to Germany. Nobody can stop me. It is what it is. But don't come online and paint the whole a whole country black just because you have misunderstanding with it. In fact, you should be respecting the father of your child no matter what. You don't come online. Oh, they don't, they don't, the German don't accept him to open even bank account. Who hear this thing? Hey, who, which intelligent person in this world will hear this thing that you are rubbish, you are vomit, you vomited? So you want to tell me the whole Nigerians, the whole Nigerians living in Germany, they don't have bank account. They are working hard, they're collecting their money because they are Nigerians. Oh, because they are Nigerians. You came, 
as you came 11 years in Germany. 11, you were 11 years old. Now you feel, oh, you are just 24 years old. Don't you see small children in Germany, 18, they already finished university. They are already on their own. And you, you came at their age, you were in school. What did you use your life for? If you want me to tell you the way it is. We came in our elderly age, yes. We did not, I did not come as a teenager like you. We came in our elderly age, oh. <laughs> and at the end of the day, we still struggle with our elderly school to go to school. And we still struggle to make it. You came as, oh, mama, you are even lucky your mother from your country, your mother brought you here. A lot of people came alone teenagers not only african teenagers from iran from iraq teenagers 16 years 15 years old african teenagers 12 years 15 years old they are following the sea they are coming here to europe and they are making it at the end of the day your mother brought you at the end of you the only thing you are crying you are crying let me tell you the way it is me the black beauty tv i don't care how you cry because you also provoke me if I do my reaction on you, you are saying that me, I should look for you. Oh, she should have looked for me to ask me why I do this. I should have tell her. Me, I should come and look for you to do my reaction. If I fire burn you every time, every day. Ask about people before you come and be ranting your mouth on YouTube street. We just do it. We don't care about what happened. It is what it is. We are here to tell you the truth. Use it and work on yourself or you leave it. You are crying. Oh, German government is that bad. German government that pays your house, pays your bill. Let me see now that you are in Kenya. Don't have your money and pay for your apartment. Let me see whether government is going to come and pay for your apartment. Let me see if government is going to give you money to feed you and your baby in Africa. You know, yes, I don't want to deny the fact that yes, Guys, I am not denying the fact that there are no racism in Germany. A lot of people still have that in them. We deal with it. Yes, people are like that. Even within us Africans, we still have people that are racist within themselves. It is what it is. Not only just with Germans. Yes, it's lonely in Germany. You can say it. You can say it. I don't want to deny the fact. But in a country that even if you are not working, the government is paying your house. The government is giving you food to eat every month. The government is even begging you to go to school. You will come and say, oh, they are wicked. Let me see which government will do that to you in Africa. We must be grateful in anything. You pack all the fault. Your mother is wicked. German government is wicked. Your baby daddy, your daddy of your baby is wicked. The whole of German people, they are wicked to you. Everybody around you is wicked. Check yourself. If you are okay, you call me and I answer you. Let's go and watch her video and I will react on it. And then I go to my Yabohanze, you call me, I give it to you. So guys, let's watch her video. Who made a video trashing me, wishing me that I will survive in Kenya with my child. And these women supporting her. Nobody say you will Thank suffer in Kenya. You are lying Jesus again. Did you please let me do this video? I need to address this once and for all. Sorry, guys, I have to do this. We just woke up. I just woke up and I saw that video. And these women supporting her, saying that my story doesn't make sense. I didn't go to school. I didn't interrogate. I didn't do all that. That's why I'm being deported. And it's sad. It's sad to see. Women who are old enough to be my grandmother. So you don't know. Let me tell this girl. You don't know before that I am 85 years old. I don't used to deny that I'm old. <laughs> I love old age. <laughs> Stay there and be crying. You see why I said that? Even though she was she was brought up in Germany, yes. Because she said she came with 11, 12 years old. <laughs> she still have this mentality that you cannot clean it. That she has... At 24 years old, you are you should be ashamed of yourself. That at 24, you don't have any house building in your hand. Yes, I said it. What is house building in Germany? Like you don't have any, like you go to you went to secondary school. Yes, as you say, you have shule, or you uh, because I don't even believe you went to real shule. Let's say you go to that, you have shule, you finish the half shule or real shule. I don't want to know. 
You finish secondary school at your age. You see, 24, you don't have anything you have finished after that secondary school or language school. Finish. You should be ashamed. You think 24. When I was 24, you know what I have done for my life. You don't know. Do you know how I came to Germany and how old I came and how we struggled? You are not the only person. Your mother brought you. We, we came like this. Your mother brought you. And did I tell, did anybody tell you that me, the, the oldest Miss Tussel on YouTube, 85. You know, when they sit down like this in Africa, their character is like, they believe that hey, 24, 24 you should have, in fact, done a lot for your life. Not to be crying about deportation back to Africa at 24 years old. You grew up in Germany, yes. How did you see your maid at your age? They have finished university. Some of them are doctors. So tell me, you are still pretend, you are still sitting down to say, oh, some people, they are supposed to be my grandmother. I am your grandmother. That is why I'm advising you. That is how to be a good grandmother. I am your grandmother. Stay me. I am your grandmother. That is why I'm advising you. You came and useless yourself in Germany. Your story don't have any meaning. You lie from the beginning to the end. You think I will come back and feel sorry for you? Never. For you sitting there to think, feel like a baby with a baby. 24 years old, you feel you are a baby. Go and tell people that will tell you that you are a baby. Me. The Black Beauty TV, I will never tell you you are a baby because I know people of your age, they are doctors. Oh. They are doctors. I'm even answering this or this, sir. Some, they are even 22. Let's continue. They decide to make a video trashing me. Trashing me. At least she could have come to my inbox. If she was genuine, she could have come to my inbox and said, hey, your story doesn't make sense. Ebu, I want to make a video, but, you know, let me first... Make me understand the things that you don't understand. But no. <laughs> as a reactor, guys. Me, Black Beauty TV, I should just go. When you go and ask them something in, in their inbox, they have seen something to use against you tomorrow. And apart from that, if I use your words, my girl. I didn't use my words. I use your word. You said you were um, adopted. I asked you, I said, where are your adopted parents? If you were really adopted by Germans, how comes they would deport you? Because now, automatically, your parents are German. There is no way they would deport you back to Kenya. That was my video. And you said about this Nigerian man, he was not allowed to open bank account because he is a Nigerian. I asked you, how can you come out to say Nigerian, sir? Uh-uh. So, did I do something wrong? Your grandmother did not do anything wrong. Oh. Hey, guys, this girl, eh? She even still come with another banger lies. But she came with the lies with style this time around. So that, oh, people will see that crocodile tears and be pitying you. Let me explain it to you. That I'm lying. Saying that it's not, that uh, I did not go to school. I did not do anything. Not everything. Professional and uh, doing that. Screenshot that. Translate it. You have said I've not gone to school. Yeah, I've not gone to school. I've not done anything. That's what you have said. Give me a sec. Who is this? Who are you this? went to secondary oh, school. Nobody people, denied right? the fact that village. you went to secondary I school. To school. I was very useless, right? I was very useless. All this, all this, I, I forged them, right? I forged them. I forged them, right? I forged them. Ah, I don't even know. How Guys, you see, that's why I said this girl, your lies. Your lies, see, if you lie, hey, I hate it when people are lying, especially to bring emotion, to tell people, oh, pity me. Guys, let nobody deceive you in any way. Me, the Black Beauty TV, I was just saying. There is no how this girl will have profession in her hand like this in Germany. And she's having job. And then German people will deport her. Never. As long as she's working in Germany and she have her work contract, from her workplace. After all, from the beginning, she was not in asylum. This girl, her mom brought her. She said she was renewing her papers every three years. So how comes from renewing your papers every three years, you enter Duldung? How comes? Explain it to the world. Not this one. You are bringing papers to say if you have authentic result, you have if you have certificate eh, that you finish, you have a profession, there is no how you will be jobless in Germany. Guys, 
ask even Kenyans that are in Germany before you even finish your school in Germany, like you are finishing school maybe in two, three months. Even in six months, you are finishing school. Already you have your contract for your work. Go and lie to people that they don't know Germany. Go and lie in Germany before they even know whether you are going to pass your final exams. Already your, your, your chef, your employer is already giving you contracts so that you don't run to another place because they want to hold you. Immediately, if you don't have paper, you have that contract. You finish your education. Straight, they will go and give you your often how to loudness. Go and tell people that want to listen to you, not me, the black beauty. Not you know me, your grandmother that is 80. I told you I am less, very, very, in fact, I'm less of your problem. Look for your mother and beg her, ask her for forgiveness. If you don't look for her, I will look for her for you. You cannot just come online, lie against your mother. You are, in fact, see, family remain family as you, people will say it. You will go like this, lie, your mother is bad. And she brought you to Germany. The, the husband of your mother is very, very bad man. He went and married your, Kenya, your mother from Kenya. Pay for you people, fight. For you and your mother, your brother to come to Germany. You came to Germany. He provided where you guys were living. He's wicked to you. Your mother is wicked to you. After they were wicked to you, they took you to a foster home. You said foster home. <laughs> like they, they, uh, they adopted you. You ran away from this foster home because, oh, they were not good to you. The last born was jealousy you. These foster home people, they were not treating you well. Eh, you also have to leave. You left them. After you left them, you go and be carrying belly with a Nigerian man. Carry belly for Nigerian man like this because you know fit settled for one place. After you, nobody say you shouldn't have your baby. It's good. Everybody makes mistakes in life, but don't take your mistakes to put on everybody's head. No. After the Nigerian man give you baby, now he's a very wicked man. Everybody in your circle, or even the people that your mom left you in Kenya with before, everybody around your circle is wicked, is bad. Only you, you are the good one. In fact, I don't want to disturb myself and stay here and be listening to this, your nonsense. I think I have given you what you really want to hear. Oh, she said that she was calling about Alton Flege. If you watch that her video, me, you say you will not call my name. Me, I will call your name. Stay me. See, oh... I cannot do that old people's work. They took me to old people. I cannot do it. The work need mental. It's not, we know. But people that knows what brought them to Germany, they don't, I have told you in my last video, I don't want to tell you again. People that knows what, what they want in life, they don't do it just because they want to do it. They do it because they are looking for bigger things ahead of them. People that come newly to Germany, they do that work. Because of what? Because they want to balance their life in Germany first. When they balance, they can do whatsoever they do. I did that job. Everybody, a lot of us did it. Oh, Alte Flege is like this. Oh, you want to dance on internet. You are in, you are in Kenya. Dance your dance in internet. You will make it. Why are you so disturbed? Why did you even try that you want to stay back? It's good. You go back since that is what you wanted right from the beginning. You never wanted to come to Europe. So allow us. Leave what that we want to stay with the racism and everything. Allow us. You that don't know what you... As you say, you are young. Because me, I know you are... You can never say... Hey, 24 is not a baby. That's what I will advise you. 24 years old is not a baby. So, <laughs> my dear, you should have done more than what you have done now. It's me. Daughter of the soil. There is no here. We, I don't pamper anybody. If you call for me, I call for you bamba to bamba and I tell you the truth. People suffer in Germany, yes. But they suffer to make it. You cannot be relaxed and say, oh, you go to job set. She even said, yes, I forgot it to even say in my other last video. That they give them ticket to go and buy things. Guys, in Tafel, they call it Tafel. It's, every, it's in every city, that Tafel. For those people that they don't have the money, they don't go to work, they don't want to do anything, they go to Caritas Diaconi, they give them this Tafel ticket. They go and buy all these things, a lot of the things, yes, they are almost pie. That is the reality. But if you are going to your job, you have your money. Even if you are working in Germany, 
if your money is not even enough, you have, like, you are going to work, your money is not enough, and the government check, okay, this is what you are collecting from your work, but they calculate how much you can use in the month, it's not enough for you. They will still help you, government will still help you, still give you money on top, still pay for your house. And we are ungrateful. That is how we Africans will come. And we want to show people. Oh, they are very wicked. If you know, you could not stay with your mom. Eh? Your mom was so wicked. It was long valley there. You want to party. Yes, I know children in your age, they want to do that. They want. But there are also teenage girls that were at your age in Germany, but they live with their parents still and still do things. They still succeed in life. You came from Africa. You want me to come and pamper you on my channel after these big, big lies. You blow. If you want to say that you don't like, don't bring. Nobody said you didn't go to school. Or you went to language school. You went to secondary school. Nobody said. Don't prove the one of school. I want you to prove the one you say adoption and how Nigerians cannot get a bank account in Germany. Prove it to the whole world that this is the reality and this is true. Eh? Prove it. Don't come and be running around the circle. You are lying. You are a liar. You lie big time. I pity your mother for wasting her time to bring you back, to bring you to this Germany, to come and disgrace her in a very big platform. A lot of people might not know your mom, but some Kenyans definitely that have watched that lean, and a lot of Kenyans watch lean. They are going to paint your mom very black, but she tried her best. If your mom married a german man and abandoned you in kenya and came with a german man with Je in germany there was the story would be your mom abandoned you in kenya and follow a man to germany but your mom did not leave you back in kenya your mom tried her best brought you from kenya to germany what did you do what did you do if your mom did not treat you well your mom will always remain your mom and nobody in this world let me tell you the truth I am a mother. Nobody can treat you with love like your mother in this world. Because I know a, a lot of mothers, they will come advising their children. And the children will think their mom, they hate them. They think that they don't wish them well. Nobody will give birth. Some or very few people in this world, I don't want to say generalize it. But a lot of mothers, when you are a mother, they wish their children well. Your mom wish you well. That is why she brought you. To Germany. But what did you do? What did you do, my dear? I, in fact, I don't blame you. I blame even that man, Nigerian man, that just relax and leave you to work out with a picky like this. It is what it is, guys. I don't want to stay in this girl like this and be talking because she provoked me. She was, oh, these women, oh, they are wicked. They can't imagine themselves in their country. They can't imagine they cannot go to their country. They will live there with racism. Even in your country, you have other problems. It's not all about racism. You have another harsh, harsh problems that will meet you there in Africa. You can enjoy the company of everybody, but there are still everywhere in the world, there are problems. So do you think, let me tell you, there is not because we don't, do we, we don't travel to Africa. We just stay like this in Europe. We don't go home. You don't know how to struggle for life. That is why you come here and be crying. You don't know the struggle your mother has gone through in life. That is why you think life is all about to get it easy. Oh, to get it easy. Even in Africa, you will see family members that cannot even, even want to let you rest your life. You will see jealousy all over. Everywhere in the world it is. Everywhere. You, you come here to be laughing with German. We, you want to tell us that all African people, there is nobody that have friends as Germans. If you don't have me, I have a lot of them. <laughs> Even though I know some, they are, the way you said it, they are, yes, they are racist. And I have said it, even we, within ourselves, sometimes we are racist. Even sometimes here in Europe, sometimes you will even prefer sometimes to be friends to Germans than to follow some Africans. So it's everywhere. So in our, here in Europe, everybody is going for, a, for his job. You want them to stay at home for you and be friends and be talking all over. Everybody is busy in this country. Everybody is busy. Nobody is sitting and just waiting. Only the lazy ones. They are even celebrating 
years. I saw one man one time was celebrating years of unemployment. Uh, you want to live your normal life and enjoy it? Go and work. Um, in fact, you will see the hard way now that you will pay your bills. She will say, oh, a lot of bills that she has in Germany, she cannot pay that, uh, those bills. You left to Kenya. Who is going to pay the bills, those bills? The government, of course. The government will settle all those bills. Do it in Africa. Go in Africa say you want to buy something, you don't have money, even to be paying in installment. You will hardly get it. I don't, I'm not afraid to go and live in, in Africa, never. But at the moment, I don't have anything to go and do in Africa. If I have my job here, why should I abandon job here and say I want to go and stay in Africa for you to come here and say, oh, they can't imagine themselves back home. We work hard here to make it work good at home. When we are retired, people can still make it in Kenya. They can still make it in Africa, yes. But if I'm making it here, God has blessed me here. I can also equally still say that here is my home because the reality is that uh, I stay in Germany more than Africa. That is the reality. I stay here more than an Africa, uh, more than Africa. I also see here as a home. It is what it is, guys. Let's go to Awaya Bohanze, guys. <laughs> Lambruski, Lambruska, fire burn them every time, every day. Ask Marwa, ask Josh James, ask the Gigolo Master, ask Castro Castra, ask the Mwango. Don't start what you cannot finish because you know I will always come to eat okra in your head. So relax, relax yourself in Kenya, work on yourself, work on your mistakes, work, so, work on the things I tell you. Don't always push. Push, push everything to everybody and say they are wicked in your circle. It is what it is. Guys, finally, finally, me. <laughs> Gigolo has finally bought phone for Congrats Mom. <laughs> Gigolo has bought phone, the phone that Congrats Mom has been crying for Marwa. You know, Gigolo sometimes, Gigolo has sense. So he has sense like a snake, you know. He don't, when he see Marwa fail this way, Gigolo is going to go this way. To take that thing that Marwa failed so that people will blame Marwa and say Gigolo have done it the right way. It is what it is. For those of you who doesn't know who Gigolo is, Gigolo is Marwa's brother, David Jr. So he bought, he just bought new phone for his mom, congrats mom. And that phone he bought, congrats mom has been begging his son, her son Marwa, that she want to have phone. And Marwa has been telling the mom, mom, you can do it yourself, make your money or YouTube and all that and buy your phone. So Jigolo now, after seeing that the brother Marwa failed, Marwa did not do it to the mother. Now Jigolo, you know, he's always a snake. Now he has gone in his snake way to do that thing since the brother did not do for people to blame Marwa. That, oh, Marwa could not buy phone for his mom, but come and see. Hey, David Jr. just bought phone for congrats mom. We all know what we know. I know their system. I know how they they function. And there's a video of this Gigolo and Marwa watch. The first time Marwa and Gigolo, I think the first time Marwa introduced Gigolo to YouTube. I used to watch a lot of videos on YouTube where people say that Marwa opened uh, a YouTube channel for Gigolo. And in this video that I'm going to play for you guys now, Marwa said that Gigolo opened channel. He didn't even know that Gigolo have a YouTube channel. And he just begged people to go subscribe to Gigolo channel. So I begin to wonder myself, so why are people on YouTube saying that Marwa opened channel for Gigolo? Marwa did not open. Marwa never opened channel for Gigolo. And then Marwa and Gigolo, they were really very good with one another. What really happened between them? What really happened between these brothers that they are like cat and dog now? Anyway, guys, let's go and watch them and we will come back like every time I like bamba to bamba. Sharing the road. So they see you. Uh, that's, that's my brother, David Jr. And now we are trying to clear the road here. So my brother is really struggling here. And also down there we have have this guy and my uncle right there. So we're making this road because it has to be a good road. Not just for me, but for the community, okay? So we're trying to balance out. Other trees have been cut. I know you guys care about the environment. 
But there has to be a road here. At the end of the day, we need a road. These homes around here, maybe they need some emergencies, you know. Yes, I'm going to be taking you down there so you can see. Please go follow my brother. He has just started a YouTube channel. I'm going to be putting the link right here. And maybe I'll do a live stream with him. And, you know, I didn't know he started a YouTube channel till today. Ah, and look, look. Ah, that's how you cut trees. Yeah. See that? Hey. Mm -hmm. Wow, thank you, Mekua. <laughs> that's okay. So imagine before that, going up. That's my brother has already said. Please give. Go follow him on Instagram and YouTube. He just started a YouTube channel without me knowing that the sun is going down. After watching this video of Marwa and Gigolo, <laughs> I was asking myself, I said, uh -uh. since Gigolo was like this with his brother, Gigolo was even before Marwa started his building, Gigolo was helping Marwa in that exercise. You can see how Gigolo was cutting the trees. I could not believe it. Because, you know, when I see this Gigolo, I used to think that Gigolo is just a vegetable now Jigolo feels that he in fact he's a big man now he cannot do anything again you know a lot of africans that's how they always think oh i started making small money i am now a big man so people will be my slave coming back to marwa i was watching uh marwa's video you know me honestly speaking guys if you see sometimes that i don't i just say okay let me just I don't want to do this reaction because I don't even want to be doing this marwa again. I want to just concentrate and be doing my things because you know what? I just don't even want to because the things that are happening in that their compound, you can never correct these guys. In fact, no matter how you talk, if you like, you talk from here till next tomorrow, you will not hear. Or this, you know, when somebody has this corruption spirit in them, it will always follow them. I made other video. I was saying, oh, Marwa, pay your plumber. <laughs> I saw the last video he did yesterday, I think, or 17 hours ago. Then, now, the video may be, maybe it's a little bit longer. Somebody commented again, telling Marwa to go and pay the plumber. He, he replied the person there and said, oh, he's paying. <laughs> he said that he has been paying something. Going down, he went to his site where, you know, in his dad's house, he went to the compound. Telling the boys that I were working for him. Oh, they should not worry. They should work. He's going to pay them. In Africa. Guys, in Africa, anybody you see that wake up in the morning, go and look for job. That person is just going to look for his daily bread. They are not looking for money to save. They are not looking for money to go and be keeping in a in bank account somewhere. No. They are going for that work with the intention that, okay, today I'm going out to look for something if I get money. I would buy food or buy things for my family. Then this person will leave their home. Come and work in your compound. And you are telling them that don't worry. Just work. I will pay you later. Guys, where do you hear this thing like this? And then I saw a lot of people. He said he paid people more than $500. The other day he said he spent $3,000 every day in his compound. Now he said he's using $500 every day to pay these guys. So after seeing those guys in Marwa's compound, guys... Those guys are doing slavery in Marwa's compound. So I'm telling them they should not worry. Let them work. I will pay them later. Mura, merata siasa. Siasa mnaleta. I'm asking them if they are bringing bring politics. Hi, hapo vijana bas. Vijana hapo. Watu mkono water inside. Water. Watu mkono hapa water. Kama ni mtu wa mkono rafiki yangu na huko hapa tulipani. I'm telling them, all of them, these are the boys. Others are coming from the other side. Okay. Aya. Kidogo tu wacha nilipe mafundi, alafu, pinyi nikuja nilipana, jumuko wengi. Aya. So these are my masons here, let me pay them. Mura, yenye yote nakuja ngapi? Elfu moja miambili. Moja miambili. Eh, walisema change ni mbaya. Eh, elfu une mianani. Elfu une mianani. Aya, nipe shiringi miambili hapa. Sinirwanulia lunch leo? Yes. Ama kuna mtu ajakunywa ajakula lunch hapa? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, guys. I'm telling them I bought them lunch. Kesho nyinyi kujeni. Oh, okay. Eh, kujeni kesho tupangane hapa. Yes, Tupangana tu. Lakini kesho ni kukoroga na kujenzi hapa. Eh. Si. 
ama nyinyi mnaona kazi gani hapa tusaidiane guys i just want to show you how many young men and from my compound look all this group here uh, it's five group of five 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 and all this every day get work in a day i tell you i spent close to 500 us just paying my people in the compound but i'm just showing you how tough i'm saying five five of them they are working in fact they are working more than what is work but guys believe you me what marwa will be giving those people it will not be maybe up to two dollars a day because he, he can never there is no way marwa will pay those plenty of people in his compound everybody each of them five dollars he's not going to work every day he cannot pay each and every one of them five dollars every day never maybe he's paying them one two three dollars and that is it see everywhere you are going to see people in that compound now tell me guys do you feel that marwa is paying these guys hearing him alone telling these guys that go just be walking i will pay you is it right when we come here to sit down and talk they will say we are wicked nobody is wicked monkey they walk babu they chop you don't use people for granted a lot of these things is happening in africa a lot of people that feels like they have little money this is how they use the poor ones they don't have something they don't have money they go to look for their daily bread they work for you and you tell them don't worry continue work i will pay you later who does that if you don't have the money to work do your work in your house gradually nobody asks you to have more than 200 people in your compound at the same day working now i saw him working that oh he came with some security two men <laughs> I was laughing that they brought security for him i don't even want to laugh at what will happen in that party i'm not saying that something bad will happen but i'm just laughing i am just kenya is good oh hey kenya is very very good i say where are the policemen that marwa marwa has never shown us this i don't know for me i've never seen them in any video it's only today i'm seeing that oh he has brought these guys the security in his compound. There is nothing that is working in that compound. Me, I have said it. Since the day Marwa came back, I said that that compound will never be finished. It will never be finished even till next year. He has not finished it. He's not seen it. He don't calculate his things. But people see it from afar. Going to this is useless clay bat that he has to destroy river. Have you heard anything about this clay bat? From Marwa again. Stories reaching that that clay bat did not work. Yeah, they are the clay bat. Clay bat. And yeah. it's so so dirty that I don't know why. Right? It rains. Yeah, yeah, but I think people will collect it's those here. things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's blocked there. So that things are not good. Yeah. The, here is where people even you you can check the clay bat here. Yeah, but it's by next week I will check. Uh, <laughs> you know marwa invested in that clay bar <laughs> because he was thinking that he was going to fetch money you know like international people are going to be coming to to you know do and undo inside this clay bar not knowing that when something happens somewhere people used to plan this thing imagine guys that you go somewhere there is one mod like this like this one in the village of marwa everybody's going inside that clay bar with clothes with their pants so people will even pee inside so people will do whatever they want to do another person tell me how that clay bar will not be smelling now the clay bar is not working everything is being destroyed so why this mawira whatsoever they call him why he left i don't care whether he comes back for the party or he came he will come back because when he was going he would say he would have this idea one day in his village so the clay bad marwa was in he was thinking that this clay bad is really going to work for him to make money out of it he was investing doing and undoing on this clay bad now seeing that this clay bad did not work the clay bad you can see how dirty i will show you the video guys how dirty this clay bad is that is why you see Marwa knows this clay bat is not going to work. <laughs> Guys, 
let's let us read this comment and then we will call it a day because me i don't want the long video a lot of people say that they want one one hour water water but it's not easy guys <laughs> I posted, you know, I was talking about this latrine, pit latrine and whatsoever that Marwa is building in his uh, mansion. And I said that I am not a Kenyan. So I don't know if really people are doing it like that in Kenya that you build that beautiful house and you build, you, you are digging a latrine toilet. Guys, I am not carrying myself or saying you will never see this thing in Nigeria. I said with my big, nobody will build a big mansion like this and deep pit toilet guys do you know how pit toilet smells a pit toilet that you are shooting the shit there is there it's not in fact when you go close and sometimes they smell their self will not allow people to sit down outside that compound and enjoy themselves so one kenya man came and dropped this comment on my video Guys, if you are a Kenya, are you are they doing this thing in Kenya? I'm not saying before some people will say, Oh, she's trying to say that there are no pit uh, latrine or so 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 in Nigeria. We get it, there are in Nigeria, but guys, you will not see anybody build this kind of beautiful house and dig that in. And most of this pit latrine, you see people that maybe they are living in a compound that I told you in my last video, I say, face me, I face you. Really, you see these people that they don't have any other choice than to dig that thing. It is what it is, guys. That's what I'm saying. You never see anybody build that kind of house and is digging that thing. It's even a shame. Because at the end of the day, what are the villagers coming? Are they coming to be shitting in your home? Let me read this comment for you. According to this, our, our brother or sister in Kenya, her name is D. D. Rehab. She said, Black Beauty on Marwa's Pit Latrine. I tend to defer. I am a Kenyan living in the States. Before we started building our parents, their beautiful mansion, we started with two pit latrines. It's a must have. <laughs> Lambruski. Lambruska. Fireborn them. His, she said, is a must have. You must have this kind of toilet in Kenya. I'm not the one saying it, guys. I will put this comment. And proud that Marwa Figo, she is saying that, and proud that Marwa Figo out that he needed one. He needed one for what? Marwa have a very big house. You don't have visitor's toilet. <laughs> guys, I don't want to laugh. It's not every visitor that want to come and shit in your house. People cannot leave their home from your village and say they are coming to shit in your house. Now, no, now, if they come, maybe they visit you, maybe they want to pee pee or something. They go to, you have a very, in fact, rooms that Marwa have in that house is uncountable. So he definitely have a lot of toilet for people. You don't need this big toilet to uh, uh, pollute the air everywhere, smelling. Eh? But if that is how they are doing it in Kenya, who am I to condemn them? To condemn what is happening in a country and proud that marwa figure out that he needed one assume he only have toilets in the house what will happen if the broke down and they can't flush uh -uh. what happened if they broke down and they can't flush this one is it a talk you are talking my brother if they broke down they can't flush they go and call people sharp chaba come and do it eh then so now if they broke down now if Marwa want to shit in the night they want to pee pee you start running from mansion to go out to a pit toilet is that one not uh -uh. me i cannot uh, me i cannot uh, i cannot judge this one he passed my power he passed my power and then he say how about the employees when Marwa is not around so Marwa will employ people to work in his house and they are not allowed to use toilet. Is he not going to give them rooms in that? You know, sometimes our people talk. That is where I always have problem with some Africans. And they will think that I'm wicked. You guys that some people that watch me. In fact, they are the wicked people in this world. And me, the Black Beauty TV. I am never wicked. I can never employ somebody walking in my house. And I dig a big toilet for them outside. Never. Go to Nigeria. That is why I tell you, Nigeria, this thing will never happen. In Nigeria, you will see boys quota. You will see boys quota, yes, for workers. 
your workers will be living there in boys' quarter, and in that boys' quarter, they have a real flushing toilet. What if Marwa is not at home? Even in Nigeria, guys, they have these guards. They have their rooms. After they get in the house, they will have this room for guards. And that house for guards, they have flushing toilet. That's why sometimes, you know, when people are insulting Nigerians, eh, I used to say so many things, eh, Nigerians, I in fact, I, I, no matter how people try to look down, just like this girl that said Nigerians are frost as they cannot open bank in Germany, there are other good things that Nigerian people are doing. No matter what you never see in Nigeria, that they are gate man, don't have, they get men, they have their toilet, flush one. That is how it is in that country. Now, Marwa will have workers. The workers, they are digging outside the pit toilet. I will never treat my workers like that. Never. You see, that is where to know how people are wicked in this world. How do you start thinking, okay, because they are workers, they are nothing to write home about. Just because they work in my house, I treat them differently. I don't know my own thinking, you know, but I will never do that. I know I might have my own private bathroom in my house. Yes, but my workers also have to go. They can go and use other bathrooms. My God. Or other toilets. And they say, do you think it will be safe? What about your relatives? Like your in-laws who are not supposed to enter in your house. Hey, hey. Labruski, Labruska. Fire burn them every time. Every day. This person don't know what he's talking. What about your relatives? You see how African people, some of us, we are wicked within our hearts. So you, me, I have, even that I'm in German now, eh? Then eh, my mother in law, the grandmother of my mother, my children, my mother in law come like this to my house, or the sister. Then I tell them that they cannot enter our main bathroom. Even they must not enter the visitors. They can go and enter my own and and do the shit and go. No problem. Now this man is there. This woman is saying, "What about the in-laws?" So you expect your in-laws to come? Your in-laws are not even allowed to use your toilet. The in-laws should use the latrine. Do it to Nigerian in-laws. <laughs> In Nigeria, when you marry, that's what I used to tell Miss Trudy. <laughs> you did not just marry with the man. In fact, you married the whole West, West Africa. You cannot tell Nigerian in-laws this thing. Some of the in-laws. <laughs> let me laugh if you are in nigeria in the house please explain to them that you tell your in-laws go and shit in the boys quarter don't shit in my main house <laughs> maybe this one is happening in east africa what a shame me you will tell your mother-in-law or your father-in-law to go and shit in the in the bush go and shit in the latrine outside this is a common Coming from somebody telling me that why am I asking Marwa that? Why is he building latrine? So the latrine is only for American people that come to visit Marwa. The latrine is, you see how we, you see when Black Beauty TV talk, people think that I am wicked. That's why I say that the racism within us is even here. This one is being racist. We are racist within ourselves, but we look at only when Yibo do racism to us. How? Is that one not wickedness to tell your mother-in-law, your father-in-law to go and use latrine? Ah, oh, you people, you people will not kill me. Like, like your in-laws who are not supposed to enter in your house. How dare you know? You say, he won't, he won't uh, put it clear for me, oh, mother-in-law. He won't put mother-in-law. It's taboo, your mother-in-law to enter your house. It is taboo hey, that your mother in law enter your house. A big house like that that Marwa has. So the mother in law cannot come and have her room. If mother in law cannot enter Marwa's house and Erondante have room there, Di Mwango have room and toilet there, the mother in law. You see, you people, tell me how Lambruski no go look for you guys. Eh? It's taboo. Your mother-in-law to enter your house. She should spend a congrats mom. Whenever she pays visit, not Marwa's house. You guys are wicked. If I marry, if Marwa marry your wife now, 
So if the woman, the mother come, cannot sleep in that big mansion, the woman should go and be sleeping somewhere else. Hey, guys, I don't think this comment is coming from a normal human being. I'm sorry. I am sorry, D Rehab or whatsoever they call you. This thing you are talking is nonsense. Whenever she pays visit, not in Marwa's house, every Kenyan home state have pit latrine. <laughs> every Kenyan home state have pit latrine. Even our president have pit latrine. <laughs> Even the Kenya, the Kenyan president is having this kind of latrine. Oh my God. These people are really disgracing Africa. So, so mean in Nigeria, you don't have pit latrine, ha? Huh? They have it, all, but they will never see it in any big man house. It is what it is. You only see pit latrine, I have told you, people that don't have choice. Even now, in people that don't even have money now, there's a way they will dig that pit latrine. But you will not see it, they will put it like, they will, that pit latrine, Marawa is digging. Never! There are pit latrine in Nigeria. I've said it 10 times, 1,000 times. I'm not denying the fact. But nobody will build a big house and say, I'm building at the side pit latrine for my mother-in-laws, my father-in-laws to come. Imagine the comment has even given me very long content like this. Hey, then you guys in Nigeria are rich. It has nothing to do with richness. How Marwa have a lot of toilets. It's just selfishness. Because you said in your comment that the mother-in-law is not supposed to pee there, is not supposed to go to the toilet, there's not supposed to go there. So all Kamarwa use all the toilet in that house that he must dig a pee toilet outside for people, for his mother-in-laws. Ah, no Nigeria, I repeat, no Nigerian person will build beautiful house like this. Even in our boys' quarters, they have flush toilet. It is what it is. Let's continue and see what they say. There's so many people are rich. So every, every Nigerian has a toilet in the house. A lot of Nigerians have toilet in the house. That's the reality. No pit latrine in Nigeria. There's pit latrine in Nigeria, but not the way you are building it. You say every household in Kenya have this pit latrine. Not every household in Nigeria have this pit latrine. Us Kenyans, we are okay with our pit latrines. We grew up using them. And we aren't going to stop anytime soon. Modesta herself sent money to Max One to fix her mother pit latrine. So why shock with Marwas? Sometimes stop strolling, blah, blah, blah. Yes, Max One, they have the pit latrine. Did you see Max One building a mansion now? Did you see that Max One built a mansion and put pit latrine outside? You have explained it and I understand and I respect your culture as a Kenya, if every household in Kenya must have a pit latrine, who am I to say no? It is what it is. Mosquito love water. Mosquito love pit latrine. Pit latrine can smell. Guys, I'm sorry to say this thing, but it's the reality. Especially when this thing is coming out of this pit latrine. Flies and everything. I'm not exaggerating. I also came from a village, so I am telling you, you cannot tell me that you build a very big mansion. In that compound that people are supposed to be chilling, he even said he will build swimming pool. You will build swimming pool, and when people go to your swimming pool, they swim. They want to chill on those trees outside, and this scent is coming from the pit latrine. Who does that? Anyway, guys, it is what it is. I don't want to talk much. If you watch till this moment, according to my Coco Mama, my one and only best friend on YouTube. Hey, Coco Mama, my only sister that I love from the depths of my heart. Mm -hmm. She said, if you watch till this moment, <laughs> you are the real G. In fact, you are the real, real fan of the Black Beauty TV. I love you back to back. Guys. Take me the way I am. That's why I don't force people to subscribe to my channel. Eh? Because I know the kind of job I am doing on this YouTube. It's not everybody that can just come and talk like that. Because a lot of people want lies. A lot of people want people to come and pretend. Oh, oh no, they, they bought her from Germany. Oh, German is wicked. Oh, German government, why did you do this? Eh, eh? Nine. If you lie, I give it to you. If you talk through me, 
I will be sympathizing. Oh, why now? Why did they? Why did the mother do this thing to her? But you cannot blame the whole circle. Mm -mm. You have to check yourself also. Thank you for always watching the Black Beauty TV, and God bless you guys. We will surely see in another bang. Have a wonderful evening, and I hope you enjoy your weekends. Tomorrow is another day, another stressful day. See, we also feel the stress. So even me, eh? Stay me, even me. One day, or very soon, I will leave Germany and go and be chilling my life in Africa and be begging on YouTube and be begging people to give me money. Mm -hmm. Thank you and God bless you guys. I love you guys, Kata. It's me, the Methuselah and daughter of the soil.